Hey guys, um, welcome to the vlog. I'm here with Porter. Say hi, Porter. He just ate, but he's kind of cranky. I don't know why. Probably because I'm sitting and I need to be standing while holding him because that's all he likes. Um, Grayson's here too. Grayson, say hi. Grayson's here. He is watching Paw Patrol and about to go down for a nap. Um, we are vlogging today because today I am planning on taking Porter to get x-rays of his head. Um, if you saw my last vlog when we went to his pediatrician appointment uh, for his one month checkup two days ago, um, I mentioned that th his head was looking a little misshapen and um, the doctor looked at it a little more closely and she decided that it would be a good idea to go get x-rays of it done. Um, just because we want to see how those plates are forming and if anything needs to be done to save his head, I guess. Um, so I've never done anything like this before. I've never even gotten x-rays myself. So I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, I thought you had to make an appointment, but they told me at my doctor's appointment that it's just walk-in. And I have a prescription here um, for him. So um, hopefully... Um, it's fast and we just go in and get the pictures done and then we're on our way. Um, I, I know that we probably won't find out anything at the appointment. I'll have to wait for the pediatrician to call me, but hopefully I won't have to wait too long for them to call me. Um, so yeah, I'm just not quite sure how this is going to go. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to get him still enough to take pictures of because Although I've never gotten x-rays before, I know you have to be still to take x-rays, and he's an infant, so I don't know how, they'll probably have to strap him down or something, so I guess we'll see. I'll vlog what I can, but um, it'll be kind of hard if I'm dealing with a upset infant. So he's happy now because I'm standing. <laughs> he's falling asleep. I kind of forgot, like, how high maintenance infants are. <laughs> like, I'm used to Grayson being able to, like, entertain himself like I was thinking like oh yeah I'll have an infant but he'll just like chill and look around and be happy but not with this one he wants to be held if he's awake <laughs> and even if he's asleep sometimes I can set him down sometimes he wants me to hold him so anyway I'll keep you guys updated on this appointment um hopefully it goes well and hopefully we're not there for forever but thankfully Anthony is off today because he is working weekends so he gets weekdays off now so I'm able to take Porter and Anthony can stay here with Grayson. So I'll keep you guys updated. So it's the next day and I totally forgot to update you guys on how the appointment went. Well, truth be honest, I was kind of waiting to update you guys until I heard back from the doctor of the x-rays and I still have not heard from them. So I'm just going to have to tell you what I know of as of right now and then I'll have to update you in another vlog. So um, I took Porter and we went to the nationwide close to home location. They have several. Um in Columbus but the they actually have one location that's attached to the hospital where I had Porter at which is really cool so we went there I've never been in there before and of course Porter was fine beforehand he was fine in the car and then as soon as we park and get out of the car he starts screaming so I go into this building and they have me register at a desk and Porter's screaming the whole time the lady is asking me a ton of questions at registration and I can't even hear her because he's screaming so loud. It was just a disaster. I obviously picked the wrong time to go. They just yeah. basically asked, like, I had a referral from my doctor, so I gave them the slip. Yeah. And then they just took, like, our information. They took our insurance card. I'm sure it's going to cost a lot to get an x-ray. Um, I don't know. I've never paid for an x-ray before, so we'll see how much our insurance covers. Yeah. 
and Grayson's singing in the background. But anyway, so we got all checked in and then we sat in the waiting room and basically it's just a walk-in services. So if they're really busy, you have to wait a while. And if they're not busy, then you don't. And thankfully they were not busy. We went on a Thursday, like in the middle of the day at like one o'clock. So I figured it wouldn't be that busy. They are open on the weekends too. And so I'm sure they're a lot more busy on the weekends. Um, thankfully Porter, um, calmed down a little bit. I was able to like soothe him with the pacifier and I was like rocking the car seat. So he's able to fall asleep. So I did get some videos of us like waiting in the waiting room. We only waited for maybe five, 10 minutes and then they called him back and, um, they took us into this little room and they had the x-ray machine and they just asked me like, what are we getting pictures of? And I was explaining like his head. We're not sure if it's because of how he was in my belly or if he's sleeping a certain way and that's causing it to form weird. Um, and so they had me get him out of the car seat and I wasn't sure how they were going to get x-rays because you obviously have to be very still when you get x-rays done and he's an infant. We can't tell him to stay still. He won't understand. But they actually had like this clear board, uh, flat board that they just laid him on. And then they basically just strapped him in. They had like a bunch of blankets and then they put like tape and they just like taped him to it. I thought he wouldn't like it, but actually it was basically like he was being swaddled. So he actually didn't mind being on the board. And then that way they could just like slide him across the table and whatever, wherever they needed him to be. And then for, to hold his head still, since we were taking pictures of his head, they had me stay in the room and they gave me like a smock, like to protect myself from the radiation. And they had these two white cushions that I held on in either hand that they had me use to like keep his head still. So they would like move his head so like he likes to lay like this like sideways a lot so they had they would turn his head so he was straight on and then I would hold a white cushion on either side of his head to keep his head straight he did not like that part um but we only had to do it a couple times they took like a picture from up top they took picture from either side and like from the back and it was actually really fast like they took the pictures super fast and he was pretty cooperative and so they got all done. Of course, they couldn't tell me right then and there like what they saw because that's up to the doctor to tell me. They're, they're just there to take the pictures. So they told me, like when we got it done, it was about 2 o'clock. And so they told me, like, you should hear from your doctor in about an hour with the results. And I was like, okay, great. And so I put Porter back in his car seat and we left and that was it. And I went home and then we just did the rest of the day and I was expecting to hear a call, which is why I didn't update you guys because I was waiting to hear the call from the pediatrician about what the x-rays saw, but they never ended up calling me. And so it's the next day and it's almost 11 o'clock and I still have not heard from them. So I don't know if it's like no news is good news or if they just haven't had a chance to look at the x-rays yet because they've been busy. I'm really not sure, but hopefully they'll call soon so I can update you guys. Um, it'll be interesting to see like where we go from here and what this means. But yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys updated. I finally found my Halloween decorations that I had packed up. I finally found them. And so Grayson is playing with them. I have this little scarecrow and then that is his trick or treat bag. It has his name on it. It's a pumpkin and it says Grayson on it. And I got Porter one that has, it's a ghost and it has his name on it. So Grayson's just playing. Porter is sleeping, I think, yeah, sleeping in my lap. He's just chilling. And yeah, we're just kind of hanging out for the day. So sorry I don't have more news for you, um, but hopefully I'll be able to update you guys soon. Um, I was super pumped about finding those um, Halloween decorations because it's uh, past the middle of October now, so I can't even have them out very long, but oh well. I was originally not looking for them. I was looking for our winter coats. I packed them away because when we packed the house and decluttered it, it was summer, and I thought for sure by the time it got cold enough to need coats, we would not be in this house anymore. Well, flash forward, it's almost November, it's getting cold outside and we have no coats. And I keep trying to find them. They're in our crawl space. So it's already hard enough to get into the crawl space. And then there's boxes everywhere and they're all very heavy. So I'm having a hard time finding them. So I'm going to have to have Anthony help me 
look for the coats when he gets home from work because I just cannot find them and we're gonna need them like soon <laughs> but anyway I think that's all for this vlog sorry it's kind of boring it's just me talking a lot I guess but um stay tuned for the next vlog we are going to Toledo um next weekend and we are going to be saying goodbye to my parents house um, they are finally moving out. They finally sold it. And so this is kind of like our goodbye, our last hurrah in their house. We'll never be going there again, which is crazy because we've been living there for over 10 years. So, I mean, I haven't been living there for a long time now, but it's been a long time for my parents and my brother. So it's just kind of sad. It's a goodbye to a lot of memories. So I'll definitely um, vlog. We're going to go to the pumpkin patch. And I also want to vlog like a house tour. Uh, for you guys just to see what it looks like um, and to keep that memory for me. So stay tuned for the next vlog and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Say bye, Porter. Bye. Grayson, say bye. Can you wave?